It's Vlogtober day 13 and I've got a creeper behind my shoulder. Squidgy. Hi. Hi. Anyway, Squidge will be making appearances, potentially barking. Treacle's being a good girl and sitting there and looking out the window. Anyway, today is not really the 13th. You may be able to detect that. You might not be able to either. On the 13th, I actually had a bit of a cheeky day off. Hi, Squidge. I had a bit of a cheeky day off, didn't I, Squidge? And I pretty much slept, had like the laziest Sunday ever, and I, yeah, didn't vlog. So here is a tag video to make up for it. This video is going to be the My First Time Tag. Now, I don't really know when this video became a tag. I think Louise, aka Sprinkle of Glitter, invented the tag, but it, she didn't really do it as a tag, she just answered questions that people had asked. But somewhere along the line it turned into a tag with these set questions which I managed to print off and conveniently have on my lap ready to answer for you. I haven't actually read them and be warned I have horrendously awful memory for things that happened a long time ago. I have actually a theory why this is because I was bullied when I was like 10, 11, yeah to about, about that age and I think I kind of like deleted that whole area of my life when I went to a new school and like made new friends and was happy again. This is turning into a bit of a sob story, isn't it? Um, I kind of forgot a lot of that stuff. So anyway, we'll see how far we get with the first, first questions. Number one, do you still talk to your first love? Um, no, no I don't really. My first proper love was a boyfriend I had when I was 15 and we're still on good terms. We have seen each other since we've broken up. The last time we saw each other, I think it was about five years ago. I was with Mike and he ha is still with the same girlfriend he was with then. But I don't think she likes me seeing him even though I'm now married. I would like to see him again because genuinely he's a really nice guy. He's called Ed. If you ever see this, Ed, hey, you're nice. Um, and yeah, I would like to see him again, but I don't know if his girlfriend would be up for that. But um, if she was, I would still talk to him. So. That is a roundabout way of saying no, but I would talk to him if his girlfriend let me. Um, number two, what was your first job? I didn't have like a set job as my first job, but I used to do like odd jobs for my parents. I don't know if that really counts. My first like proper job was when I left school, I had this job for my sister's company, it wasn't she owned the company, she worked for the company, it was a marketing company, and I used to go around to universities and set up careers events. Sounds really scary, and at the time, yes it was quite scary, um, because I was 17 and I would go, I'd rock up at these unis and I would go to the careers person and be like, hi I'm here to set up the teaching event, and I would unload all the little brochures and I would set all the presentation up and make sure the person was there speaking and make sure that the attendees were all checked in and that was my first job so it was quite a scary one for a first job but before that I used to do yeah I used to do little jobs for my parents I also used to have like my own job when I was about my dad actually mentioned this in my wedding in the speech he did at my wedding it was basically like I think I was like nine and I started it was when Amazon very first started up or was it Amazon or was it eBay I can't remember but anyway I used to sell books online so I would basically like sell all my old books and then when I ran out of my books I sold all my parents old books and then when there were no more books in the house my parents were like what are you doing with all these books? I was like I've sold them online and to be honest they were actually really happy because my mum reads a lot and she has a lot of old books that she never ever reads obviously I didn't sell like any valuable ones or anything they were just like old novels and stuff and yeah I used to make a little my pocket money from selling books it was really awesome um, so yeah I guess that would probably be my first job anyway that's enough of that what was your first car? I had a Ford KA um, was my first car and it was silver and it was really cute and it was small and like cute and yeah. Um, who was the first person you texted today? I haven't texted anyone today, it's only about 10.30. The last person I texted was Lissy because I'm seeing her today but that was like late last night at like 11 o'clock. Um, who was the first person you thought of this morning. That would be Mike because I woke up next to him because he is my husband. Um, who was your first grade teacher? The first teacher that I remember is, I can't remember her name, I feel like it was, oh what was her name? I honestly can't remember her name but I remember her quite distinctly and she was quite skinny and I always think of her at the time as being really old but looking back now she was probably like 35 and just because I was four I used to think she was really old but she had these really like creepy hands and 
I swear she used to like wear foundation on them or something. It was creepy. Anyway, that was my first teacher. Where did you go on your first ride on an aeroplane? I can't remember, but I imagine it was probably Portugal because my grandparents used to have a house in Portugal and we used to go there every summer and visit. And that was probably my first plane ride, I would think. Who was your first best friend and do you still talk? I can't remember my first best friend from when I was like really, really small, but I remember my first best friend that I had when I was about six, maybe? That, I must have had a best friend before then, but I can't remember it. Um, is that bad? I told you I couldn't remember a lot of stuff. Um, it, she's called Alice, and yeah, I don't talk to her anymore because we didn't get on later on, and yeah, that was the whole bullying thing. Um, so no, we don't still talk. Where was your first sleepover? Don't remember that at all, absolutely no recollection. At all, I just remember watching like semi-scary movies that we used to think were really scary at sleepovers and they actually weren't. Um, who was the first person you talked to today? Again, that would be Mike because he woke up next to me. Whose wedding were you in the first time? I was bridesmaid for my uncle who married my auntie, obviously. Um, when I must have been about six, seven, something like that. And there's this amazing picture of me at my mum's house and I had like this miniature wedding dress on, no joke, with like puffy 80s sleeves and all like 90s sleeves and like it was satin. And after that wedding, I loved the dress so much I used to wear it to like every party, so I was like this creepy mini bride running around. I don't really know why, why my mum let me do that, but um, I guess it was cute at the time, slash creepy. Um, but um, but um. What was the first thing you did this morning? I rolled out of bed and I got in the shower. Is that normal? I'm pretty sure it is. And that was the very first thing. Actually, no, I went to the loo first. TMI? Probably. Um, what was the first concert you ever went to? I don't know if it was the very first one, whether I went when I was a real, like, tiny kid or not, but the first one that I, like, begged and begged and begged and begged to go to was Hanson in Wembley Arena and it was freaking amazing. I made a t-shirt with like the Hanson sign on it and because my parents didn't want me to go on my own because I was obviously really young, I had a friend with me, but also my brother and sister came with me who at the time would have been like 15 and 12 or something, or like maybe younger than that actually, because I must know, I must have been about nine. So my brother would have been like 14 and my sister would have been 16 and they took me to this Hanson concert and they were so unimpressed with it at that time. And yeah, I looked just like Zach Hansen at that age as well. I was like a little chubby and I had gaffy teeth and I had the same hair. And he was a boy and I was a girl and I was like, we just, it's meant to be, he's meant to be, he's the one. No, no. First broken bone, touch wood, find some wood. I've never ever broken a bone um, and I don't want to. So that's, I've probably broken my toe though. Apparently you break your toe like numerous times a year, I don't know. First piercing was my ears. Isn't that everyone's first piercing? I feel like it'd be weird to get somewhere else pierced. Like, your earlobes are like a really safe piercing, aren't they? But um, ah, to save me doing a piercing video, because it would be very short, I have two piercings in each earlobe and my tummy button pierced and that's it. I used to have my tongue pierced, little known fact probably for a lot of you, um, and I took that out when I was at uni. I got it done on my gap here. I had it for about 18 months, um, so yes. First foreign country you've gone to, again, I think it was Portugal, first time on a plane as well. First movie you remember seeing, I'm glad it says you remember seeing the first movie that you saw, because otherwise I'd be like, what? Um, what are the first movies that really stays in my mind? Actually there are a couple, Homeward Bound, anyone remember that with the dogs and the cat? And it's, yeah, really cool and sad. Um, I, I loved that, I absolutely loved that, and I also remember being traumatised by gremlins at a young age, because my brother was five years older than me, he used to love gremlins, so yeah, he used to have it on and I would be scared, so that's one of my first kind of memories of watching a movie is at home, freaking out behind the sofa watching gremlins. When was your first detention? I only ever had one detention, I was a good girl at school, and here is the thing, okay, I'm still bitter about this, I got detention for forgetting my calculator to a maths lesson. I couldn't believe it, I was like, really sir, like, are you kidding me? Like, can I not go and get my calculator or borrow the person sitting next to me? Like, please don't give me detention. Like, tell me off or something. But a detention, I was like, what? Who was your first roommate? I never really had a roommate. I never had a roommate at uni or anything. I've always had my own room. 
I've shared houses with other people, but never like a room. So I haven't had one. Um, what were your first, the first lessons you ever took? I remember taking French lessons when I was like five, but I must have taken primary school lessons before then. But I guess they're not really lessons because you just kind of learn stuff. You don't, I don't really know if you have lessons at that age. You just kind of have one teacher, don't you? So yeah, probably French. And the final question is, who was the first person, or beauty related person, you saw on YouTube? Mine, I think it was Blair, Juicy Star 07, or it could have been Laura, who used to be Lollipop26, and I absolutely loved her. She still has a blog called Buy Now Blog Later, but she doesn't do YouTube anymore. And I was talking with Elle, who was actually weirdly the sister of Blair, who. I think was the first person. It was either her or Laura, anyway. I was talking with Elle about Laura the other day and we were both saying how much we missed her videos and how she was like the best person on YouTube having a little reminisce from like five years ago. We just loved her um, and she doesn't make them anymore. So it was either her or Blair. And yes, that is it for my first time tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back commencing normal programming tomorrow, which is actually gonna be a couple of days ago. If that even confuses you, it confuses me. I'm even confusing myself. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Lots of love. Goodbye. And Squidge says goodbye to. Actually, no, she doesn't. She's just asleep. Bye, guys. Uh, walking the doggy doggy dogs. And I can officially say it sucks being back in England. Look at this miserable weather.